Good day. Welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. Today we look at 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 27. Even though we will be reading other verses. I am a member of Christ's body. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 27 tells us, says, Now ye are the body of Christ and members in particular. So all Christians make up the body of Christ, but we differ in function. And we can see that in Romans chapter 12 verse 3 to 8, Ephesians chapter 4, 7 through 16, and even in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, from verse 12 all the way to the end. We are many members, but one body, as in a human body, each church member as a different but important function and we serve more effectively when we realize that all member has to work in unison or in harmony it is the holy spirit who baptizes the new believer, making him or her a member of the church, a member of God's family, a member of the body of Christ. And it's the Holy Spirit who empowers such one to live righteously and to be a witness for a God. So as Paul was telling the Corinthians, he's saying the human body is an illustration of unity and diversity. The body is one, yet many members. Although all the members are different, and perform different functions, yet they all combine to make one functioning unit called the body. So also is Christ. It is saying to us, Christ here is referring to the glorified Lord in heaven, the one who is our Head, the head of all members that are on earth. So all believers of the body of Christ, we can see it just as we see our own body. Our, our body is made up of. Here we see in 1 Corinthians chapter two, 12, looking at verse 12, it says, For as the body is one, and art many members, and all members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is Christ. How the body is constituted, the scripture tells us. For by one spirit are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jew or Gentiles, whether we are bond or whether we are free and have been made to drink into one spirit, for the body is not one member, but many. It goes on to say, 
members of the body are organically related. Verse 15 says, If the foot shall say, Because I am not the hand, I am not of the body, it is therefore not of the body. And if the ear shall say, Because I am not the eye, I am not of the body, it is therefore not of the body. If the whole body were an eye, we are worthy hearing. And if the whole were hearing, we are worthy smelling. But now at God set the members, every one of them, um, in place as it had pleased him. And if they were all one member, we are worthy body. But now are they many members, yet one body. Christ set the members in the body as it pleased him. He does what is best for the body. So we will see lots of different things that comes out without a variety of members you could not have a human body there must be many members each one different from the other working in obedience to the head and in cooperation with others it tells us as it it goes on it's, it's, it says to us, uh, when we see that diversity is essential to a normal, healthy body, it will serve us uh, and keep us uh, from danger, from belittling ourselves uh, or belittling others. We work hand in hand to do that which needs to be done the ear can't say well i'm not important neither the eyes it is the whole body that is important it goes on to tell us and it says members of the body are cooperatively related verse 21 to verse 23 and the eye cannot say unto the hand, I have no need of thee. Nor again the hand to the feet, I have no need of you. Nay, much more these members of the body, which seem to be more feeble, are necessary. And those members of the body, which we think to be less honorable, upon these we bestow more abundant honor and or uncomely parts of more abundant comeliness so we will see here from the scripture that some parts of the body are stronger than some but it still has its own important function god himself arranged this in the body just as it please him so we must be grateful for the gifts that God has placed in the body and use them to bring glory and honor and praise to his name. Sometimes you hear people fighting about gifts and which person is more important because of this gift or that gift. But remember, we cannot rebel against God. What he chose to do with one person different from another, it is his choice because he has a perfect plan for our lives. So whatever he has given to us in the body of Christ to be used, let us use it to honor him. He, Paul was reminding the Corinthians it is God who has ordained these members and placed them in one body and he says there is a connection just as the human body is connected so is the spiritual body 
the church and he is saying let each member use their gift to the service of God I can't say to the and I don't need you again the head cannot say to the feet I have no need of you each one is necessary and depend upon the other as it tells us some members are feeble more than some it's the same thing with the human body the lungs the liver the brains all those vital organs we don't see them on display they just carry on their function some members of the body are attractive some are not so elegant but one part compensate for the other and we see these parts as we use them and combine them together they give God glory the structure that God makes up he wants us to function that way and to appreciate each other member and to realize that we are all what interdependent and we counterbalance each other and the deficiencies that one member have another member will make up or compensate for it he says without this mutual kind of care and understanding we will end up with schisms in the body and he doesn't want that but what he is saying to us let's operate as one and this is the way he wants it in the church what want what affects one member affects the other because we are all members of one body god bless you thank you again for watching